Hey guys, welcome my April 23rd DVD update. It's been about a month or so since I've done my last video, and I have a pretty decent amount of stuff. Some stuff I didn't get to watch yet, but I didn't want to, you know, keep waiting to do this. And um, I'm trying at a new angle. I'm standing up, so we'll see how this works out. So I can't really see it as well, but it should look better. I mean, I hope it does. I'm going to start with the Blu-rays first, and I'm also going to talk about um, the fourth sequel to this movie. The, f the first Blu-ray I got is Scream. The first Scream, the original Scream, and I will say it's kind of weird watching these movies now because for some reason I always think of you know Scary Movie one and two spoofing them, and I kind of liked um, like like when I think of like you know David Arquette's character I think of Doofy more I don't know for some reason I think more of Scary Movie and Scary Movie two more than I think of the actual Scream movies, but you know this one was good. Um, I, I'm gonna get part two and three at some point on Blu-ray. I didn't. I don't really love those the sequels as much. I think part two I liked. Part three I don't remember liking too much. Now you know the and you know this is kind of the movie too that kind of started the kind of trend of I know what you did last summer and that sort of, that type of film that they did from like nineteen about nineteen ninety seven till maybe two thousand and two maybe if that long. But it was a certain type of film like Urban Legend was in that same style. But, you know, it's a worth-watching movie. I, I, it's fun. I remember watching it for the first time. I think it was in, like, the sixth grade. I remember it was, like, this big thing. I remember being at Target, and they had all the boxes of it, and people kept talking about it. And the only other movie I remember, like, hearing about that much, you know, years back when I was a kid, was, um... What was the other one? Wayne's World. I remember there was a whole big thing for that. But, um, the, as, as for the fourth movie, I, I liked it a lot. The one thing that kind of was a little weird with it... And um, it stood out, I don't know, if, not a lot of people are going to pick up on it, but it was really very, a lot of soft focus, a lot of whiteness to the tint of the film, and like at night when they had the lights that looked really weird, and that was the only actual problem that I had with the fourth movie. As a movie, I thought it was fun, um, you know, I thought it's worth watching, there's not a whole ton to say about it, I thought some of the acting was a little off, some, some people were, you know, doing a part that wasn't really normal to them and they were struggling a bit. But, you know, as a movie, I thought it was worth watching. Um, but it's not, like, the best thing horror movie I've seen in a while. I thought Insidious was one of the better ones in a long time. Now, this one is a movie that people have been telling me about for years, and for some reason has never come out in the U.S., and this is the British DVD of it. It's an import. Now, I actually got it on Amazon for, like, $6, but it might have come from England. I don't know. I think there was one from England... But it's All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. And people have talked about this thing to me for so long. And I finally I realized that you know it's reason free so I could play it in the Blu-ray player. And it's pretty good. It's Amber Heard's in it. And it's, she's the girl at school that pretty much all the boys like. And all the girls kind of want to be friends with and look like. Everybody likes this girl. And she ends up hanging out with this kind of crowd that's kind of like the popular kids at school. Mixed with some of the weird nerdy ones. And they all go out to have fun and screw around at the one kid's um, farmhouse. And all the like, people start dying off one by one out there. And, um, you know, you kind of find out early on who it is. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to ruin anything with it. But as a slasher, you know, like a, it was pretty good. I thought, um, um, I thought though, the, it, it was pr better than average for the effects, too. I thought there were some pretty gruesome, like, you know, kills in the movie. They were very much like 80s, like, um, Happy Birthday to Me, um, April Fool's Day, that kind of style. But the movie didn't feel much like a throwback. A little bit in some points. It's worth watching, though. And now I got, um, Arthur and Arthur 2 on Blu-ray, and this they had this at Walmart for, like, $13. The remake of Arthur is okay, but, you know, it it's just not not the same, you know. It's if you haven't seen these movies, you're gonna really like the you know the remake, or at least probably will. But if you've seen this, you're not gonna care too much for the remake. Russell Brand, you know, did a decent job. I know he's gonna be in the remake too of Drop Dead Fred, and I'm I think he can. I I, I feel like that's gonna be a decent part for him. I think he can do that really good. I don't know the sequel, the remake just wasn't that good. Arthur though is a guy that has a lot of money. His character. And he's a millionaire and, you know, can't really do anything on his own. He has a butler taking care of him, and he's a big alcoholic. And he has to um, marry, his mother's like, if you don't marry this one woman, you're out, the inheritance is over. 
and he has to, you know, what is he going to do? And then he meets this other woman that isn't rich, is kind of a lower class woman, and it's kind of, it's very very fun movie. The sequel is not too good. I remember watching, going, oh, it it can kind of ruin your view on the film. So the sequel is a pretty bad movie. So I mean, you can watch it, but it's not great. Now this one is one of the um, Hammer films. Hammer did Let Me In, and I think they did another one people have been talking a lot about, um, which was the, Let Me, the Right One In remake, but this is called The Resident, and it's Hilary Swank and Mo Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and Hilary Swank moves into this new, really fancy, I think it's New York apartment building, really big, like I guess a loft, all this space, and, you know, she gets it for a really good price. She doesn't really know what's going on, why she's getting it for such a great deal. And she starts hearing things in the house, like someone sneaking around. And it's one of those kind of things. It's a little bit like that movie with, um, I'm totally forgetting her name right now, but, you know, played the daughter in Christmas Vacation, too, uh, Juliette Lewis. Um, I think the fourth floor. It's a lot like that, except for it's not as peculiar and there's no, like, Artie Lang kind of character. Oh, it's, it's very similar to The Fourth Floor. I like The Fourth Floor better. Um, if you haven't seen that, that's a really good one. But, you know, it's her hearing these things, and she puts in webcams. And Christopher Lee's in it, but for, like, maybe three minutes. I don't know. It's not that great. It's a little bit like the Toolbox Murders remake in parts. I don't know. I don't know. It's not as good as I hoped it was going to be. And now this one, they, Walmart has a bunch of $6 Blu-rays now. And I didn't have this one, so I figured I'd get it. And it's the My Bloody Valentine 3D. And it's the remake of the original film, I, My Bloody Valentine. I like the original one better. This is a decent movie. Um, I'm not going to watch the 3D version. For something about these red, and I've talked about this a lot, the red and blue 3D it makes me like so sick. Like I, I, I can't even watch it for more than a minute. I feel like my eyes cross, and I get like almost like motion sickness. from I don't know, it's just not a way I want to watch a movie. The next one, Target's got a couple um, $5 movies from uh, Mill Creek. Mill Creek and Echo Bridge are putting out a lot of, I think, Buena Vista titles and Disney titles and Miramax titles. And um, Big Business is the, the movie that I got for $5. And I, I don't think I had ever seen this one. And it's Bette Midler and Lily Tomlin and it's kind of a little difficult to explain. Um, this family's going, it's like this rich family who was the mom, the mom who was in um, Stranger with Candy. But she's going through this town, she's pregnant, she's going to have this baby, and she ends up having it at this kind of hick town hospital. And the baby, and then at the same time, um, another mother's having a it lives out in that town, is having a baby. They end up having twins. The two twins get switched. And it's kind of like that kind of thing, like the parent trap kind of thing. And, you know, switched, the, the one baby goes with the one, the other baby goes with the other one. And then years later, the um, the one family, you know, is very successful. They're going to, they're actually planning on re remodeling or re doing something to the town. So then the, re the twins from the town end up going to New York. And it, it's a very, it's a very cool, I, I don't know, I really, really thought it was a fun movie. There's not a lot of movies like this at all anymore. I think it's from like the late 80s. There's a lot of character actors in it. I don't know, it's definitely one for $5 at Target. I don't think it's even out yet anywhere else but Target, but definitely pick this one up. Now this one was really pretty bad, and it's called The Inheritance. And, you know, I thought it was going to be all right. Keith David is in it, and it's like about this family that has to get together for a reu family reunion, and it's all these, like, it's hard, like, this, there are they're all like the the grandparents were related to the to slaves or something, and then I don't know. It's so hard to explain. I shut it off with like thirty minutes left. I just didn't think it was very good. It was just one of those movies. It was just like bad. And this one I got. Um, I think I got this for like five dollars used somewhere. And I always thought this was an okay movie. It's not. It's not perfect. I like John Carpenter stuff. I'm looking forward to his new movie, The Ward. Um, but this is Ghost of Mars, and this is, you know, a prison group, not like a police group that has to go into a prison to, I think it's to pick up a prisoner, which is played by Ice Cube, and it's on Mars, and then the people of Mars are all going crazy and are killing them. I don't know, it's, it's interesting, it's not a perfect movie, 
and there's some parts of it that are a little weird, but it's it's worth watching. Now on to the DVDs. Now this is one of the releases that Echo Bridge is putting out. I guess they got some kind of a deal with all the Dimension titles and some of the Dis like the Disney Miramax titles and all. I don't know I don't exactly know how it works, but they're releasing like Dust Till Dawn on Blu-ray and all these movies on DVD. Some of them come to DVD, some of them come to Blu-ray, and then they're also in all these multi sets. Like Children of the Corn is on a single set, then it's on a set with part two and two and three, then it's on a set with two, three, and four, and it's just like all these different sets of it. I think this is a Walmart set, and it's part two and three. And you know, I I I like the Children of the Corn movies. They they went downhill throughout the sequels. They're, you know, I always think, like, the creepy kids movies are kind of cool. But, you know, it's like the Village of the Dam. The kids are like, killing everybody off in the town. Um, the next one I got is from After Dark Originals, and it's Prawl. And this was a little peculiar. This was, um, it was about a group of kids that were going on a trip out there. I think they were going to take one friend to where she was moving out of the town. So they all go with her. And the car breaks down, so it's a typical of that kind of thing. And they end up getting picked up by a truck, this big truck, and they all go in the back of the truck. And the truck ends up dropping them off in this weird warehouse building. And it's like vampires are there. And it, I don't know. I watched the whole thing. Well, I didn't absolutely love the thing. There is a kind of a weird feature on the disc, though, with like, it's like, it's this. It's supposed to be like a behind the scenes thing and it sort of starts off like it's this intro and you think oh what's going to happen next is going to show like the making of and all this stuff it's like this it just sort of stops and like nothing happens with it and the guy's sort of walking around like is there vampires I don't know it's just, just if you watch it it's like really peculiar like the way the guy's discussing the movie it's like okay I don't know it's 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 worth watching I got Husk too from that which I need to watch still these are two other blue. I forgot to show these Blu-rays. It's weird though having them here. Um, straight talk, and this is something that, as a kid, on the VHSs of like, um, like Ernest and all those movies around that time, this was always a trailer for it. So I'm like, what the hell? You know what? I'm gonna finally watch this damn thing and see what it is. And this is one that I got that has um, Nick Stahl, Rose McGowan, and Amy Smart called Wide Awake. Uh, no, Dead Awake, not Wide Awake. Dead Awake, which I still need to watch this. Now onto the DVDs. I got Dennis the Menace, the original, you know, original season one. And I think they made they made a live action movie, not the not the movie um, in the nineties, but there was a movie in I think the seventies, I think, with Dennis and the Mr. Wilson had um dinosaur bo bones in his backyard or something like that. But I, I don't I haven't watched this show in years. When I know as a kid I used to always watch this. So I need to rewatch through this. And this one I got used Cameron's Closet. And this everyone was always getting this in big lots and for some reason I could never find it. I started watching it, it's not that great. And I really have liked the Gordon Ramsay shows. I've been watching on BBC America Kitchen Nightmares and it definitely makes me worry about certain kitchens. And like certain places you can kind of tell they're probably gonna look like that in the back. I, I think he's a very cool personality. And um, this one I've got to watch through Hell's Kitchen. Like I said, I have not gotten to watch through this stuff, but I'm really tired of taking so long with these damn things. And, you know, right now I have some time before I have to do another shooter. I'm, you know, so I want to do this now. And this one is an, I got for five dollars. It's a bunch of random like 90s kids films and I, I don't know when they're from but the Willies was in there so it's a bunch of weird movies and it was for only five dollars a warrant so I'm like what the hell I got th this one too the backwards butchers collection um, so I don't know what any of these are and this is these are other ones that I got from a closing down um, blockbuster uh, Mean Girls 2 which I don't know why I got it well, I don't I don't it's not on blu-ray and I don't think it's even out on that. And David Sterling's Virus X and Hus, which I still have to watch all these things. But, you know, like I said, I really wanted to put something up. And I, wanted, I didn't want to take so damn long all the time. But anyway, though, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully this angle looks okay. And I didn't step out of the frame where my head's not cut off. And um, hopefully the, there should be a new video, DVD update, and probably, I would think, no less than three weeks. Anyway, though, thanks a lot for watching and for subscribing. And I'll see you guys later.